So here at the ESMO 24 meeting, we presented updated second interim overall survival analysis of the Mariposa 2 study. You remember that this study was a randomized phase three study of patients with EGFR mutant lung cancer who were randomized two to two to one to either chemotherapy with amivantamab and lizertinib chemotherapy or chemotherapy with amivantamab. It's really the focus of the last two arms, chemotherapy or chemotherapy with amivantamab, which form the uh, focus of this uh, presentation. Uh, the second interim analysis was performed when we had 75% of overall survival events that had accrued and the pre-specified threshold for statistical significance uh, at this uh, point was defined as 0 0.0 one, four. Now, with uh, just over 18 months of additional follow-up uh, at this second interim analysis for overall survival, we demonstrated a clear and ongoing survival benefit with a trend, uh, but not quite statistically significant for overall survival uh, benefit for chemotherapy in conjunction with amivantamab over ke chemotherapy alone with a hazard ratio of 0 0.04 and a p-value of 0 0.03. The curve separated after six months and continued to separate thereafter with a 7% separation of survival at the, two, at the uh, 12 month time point and um, a 10% uh, survival difference at the uh, 18 month time point. So an important survival difference. Now, importantly, that didn't reach statistical significance and that's because the amount of alpha spent at this interim analysis has been quite conservative to preserve power for the final analysis and the trial will continue and uh, will present updated overall survival uh, at the final analysis. As part of this study, we also presented additional exploratory analyses, and these included time to symptomatic deterioration, which is an important endpoint because it also captures the deterioration that's not captured by RESIST, which is clinical deterioration. And time to uh, symptomatic progression was significantly improved for amivantamab chemotherapy over chemotherapy uh, alone. We also looked at time to uh, next line of of treatment and that was also significantly uh, improved and we also looked at uh, PFS2 or uh, time to progression on uh, second line uh, treatment in those that received it or death and again that was uh, improved. So overall with all of the exploratory analyses that we have done together with the survival benefit that we're still seeing albeit not reaching statistical significance I think overall these underpin the excellent efficacy that we've seen so far with combination chemotherapy and amivantamab versus chemotherapy alone.